Well, hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Before we get started on this subject of the uh, T-Mobile home internet, uh, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. Uh, you can always unsubscribe later if you want to. Uh, also, please like the video, hit the little bell so you'll be notified, and share. All of those help me grow my channel. Okay, so now on to the subject that we're doing. Basically had a game changer out here at the farm. For years, I had been using farm-to-market broadband for internet service uh, here at the farm because it was really the only thing that we could get that wouldn't cost us a fortune in comparison to the other stuff like satellite. For at least six years, we were running it uh, two megabits a second download, two megabits a second second upload. And that was costing me $73 a month. That's all taxes, fees, all that included. Uh, then about a year, maybe a year and a half ago, we were able to upgrade to 10 megabits a second download, but it was still 2 megabits a second upload. And that jumped us up to $95 a month. But like I said, we didn't have hardly any options out here at the time. I initially thought about looking at uh, Starlink. In fact, I even put a deposit down on it waiting on equipment. The biggest problem with Starlink is you got to buy the equipment and that's uh, at least about a $500 bill. And then even though it's supposedly extremely fast internet, it's $99 a month. Not that much of a financial relief if I was looking for that. Well anyway, going through all of our kitchen remodel stuff and the expenses of that and us being on a fixed income of Social Security, I had to make the decision to find another internet option for out here where we're at. So about a month or month ago, uh, I had checked uh, Verizon for their home internet, not available at our address. I checked T-Mobile for the home internet, not available at our address. Now the Verizon, <clears throat> if it was available, would have been to me $60 a month for G LTE home internet and $70 a month for 5G uh, and that's because I am not a Verizon customer with my cell phone. Now T-Mobile had their new thing coming but it wasn't available and it was the T-Mobile home internet. It's $50 a month if you're on auto pay and that's it. $50 a month. No taxes whatever else. So anyway in the interim time I, I went ahead and, and had them turn off the service from farm to market and I went the only other option I had at that time was visible wireless which is a cell phone service a prepaid cell phone service that works on the Verizon network and the only good thing about it was is that they had uh, your phone could be unlimited hotspot there was no restrictions on the amount of data that could go through they have put a five megabits down five megabits upload speed limit on it but you know I figured well it's going to be $70 a month less because I could get it for $25 a month. I did have to buy a phone because I didn't have uh, a phone that was compatible with the Verizon network so I bought the cheapest one they had and, and like I said it worked but it was very marginal out here and so I was looking at well possibly having to go spend you know $300, $400 down the road on a cellular booster antenna and get the signal up real strong here which we get a decent uh, internet speed. I just happened to be watching YouTube several days back and uh, there's a guy on there that I watch and he was going over the T-Mobile internet so I said so, well you know I need to check into that. So the next day uh, my wife was in store Dollar General and uh, I was sitting in the car and I was on my phone and I decided to run the address check again and I basically anyway if you go to here it's got up here check availability and you would click on this uh, type in your uh, phone number and your address and it would check and see if <coughs> it was available so I ran that check and lo and behold it came up and said congratulations it's available at your address which I couldn't believe but it, it did state that so the wife came out and got in the car and I said hey it says we can get this now and so let's go to T-Mobile well that's a 40 mile drive for us and we made the trip in they ran my address and it came back that yes I could have the uh, T-Mobile home internet now I'm already a T-Mobile customer because that's where our cell phones were so I already had auto pay and all that set up so it was just basically a matter of them checking my address make sure it was available at my address and then 
They checked and they had the device there, this little gateway you're seeing there. They had that. They just gave it to me and said, there you go. You can go home and set it up. If you have any problems, you can get all the support. So I took it home and I set it up. It was extremely easy. It took me maybe about five minutes to get everything set up. And so I ran speed test and I just ran this one a while ago. This is what we get. And this is during the day now and I'm out in my trailer. So I'm wired through two hubs to get back to the T-Mobile. And uh, I don't do wireless out here to the trailer because it's always been sketchy whether I could get a Wi-Fi signal coming out of the house out here to my little workshop trailer. So even at that, you can see here at 76.93 download, 23.59 upload. I mean, that's unheard of for me. In the house, uh, especially at night, we'll get, we'll get 170, 180, 190 megabits a second download. And we'll get in the 20s to 30s. The, up the upload for me, that's a game changer again for me because I try to upload videos to YouTube. And normally a video that's probably the size that this one's going to be would take an hour and a half, almost two hours to upload. Where at this speed would just take a matter of minutes in comparison. So that's a big up, you know, increase to me, speed. So anyway, uh, there again, like I said, if we come over here, this is kind of like your overview. And you can see... I'm getting that, and I only have two bars. So that's the other thing that I kind of want to bring up, and I'm not 100% sure about this, so if anybody um, maybe knows this better than I did. But I know when I was looking at the Verizon one, if you got it, their gateway was physically locked to your address because it was locked to a specific tower. That meant you couldn't take it with you and go somewhere else without them doing a bunch of bull and stuff. My understanding is the T-Mobile one, I could pick it up if I wanted to and go to my daughter's in Georgia, which I've checked and uh, their address. I could take my little gateway motor and go there and I could have my uh, high-speed internet at her house. And so I could take it with me. It's not locked to a specific address the way I'm understanding. Now, I do know they will not give you this device, whether it's in the store or mail it to you, unless your address comes up and it is available. We're looking at this as $50 a month for unlimited. And I did ask them. I said, now, unlimited doesn't mean, like, the first 50 gigabytes you can get it at full blazing speed, and then after that, we're going to throttle you down. And the answer is no, it is unlimited period, whether you're, you know, 50 gigabytes a month or a terabyte or so a month. It's, it's the same. The monthly equipment fee is $0. Installation, $0. Early cancellation, $0. And data overage coverage fee over 50 gigabytes, zero dollars. All taxes and fees are included in that $50. Now you get that $50 a month price if you have set up auto pay. And I have auto pay set up because I hate trying to remember to pay the bills. I'd just rather have it automatically paid and I don't have to deal with it. So anyway, I kind of want to touch base with that, what's going on out here at the farm. This is going to allow me to do more videos, get them uploaded to uh, YouTube, Hopefully I can get back to doing videos that, like I was doing prior to my congestive heart failure back in 2018. We can get back to that. We got a lot of things coming on down here. You know, I'm in my trailer here. I've got my laser engraver. I've got my 3D printer. And I just got me a Nova Comet 2DR little wood lathe. And I'm going to be doing some stuff with that. Plus we got all the gardening stuff that's going on, my tractor, you know, the kitchen renovations and the other things that we're going to be doing around here. So it'll be a lot of videos coming, coming down the pipe. So there again, going back, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. Hit the little bell so you'll get notified of new videos. Like the videos if you uh, choose to do so and I would really appreciate it and then share the videos all of those help me out There's also another way you can support the channel if you so desire not required is you can buy me a coffee I'll have a link in the description below. That's where you can actually go give me a monetary donation of a dollar whatever and Things like that will help us out keep in mind subscribing checking back hitting the bell sharing liking the videos at least do that Go ahead and comment below. Let me know what you guys think. What do you want to see? I will tell you if I'm going to be doing that and what we can do about it, getting the videos up. But like I said, I'm about to wrap up the kitchen. It's been a, a seven months uh, plus remodel. And uh, normally I could have done a kitchen like that in about a month, month and a half. 
and because of my hip uh, pain that I'm going through right now, I'm only able to work a couple of day, a uh, couple of hours a day. We're seeing the end of the tunnel here, so in about a week, week and a half, I should be 99.99% finished with the kitchen. <laughs> It'll be functioning again, let's put it that way. And the wife is really looking forward to that, even though I'm the one that will do most of the cooking in there. So, until the next time, I want to thank every one of you that watches my video. I want to thank every one of you that subscribes to my channel. And we'll see you on the flip.